whole tragic point, my friends. What would I do if I could suddenly... It's always like that thing, like, you know, if, if you... Um, everybody always says it. It's such a cliche. If you do something you like, you're not working anymore. Being able to make money at it and uh, survive off it for a number of years is, is probably one of the best things. And I'm lucky. I mean, I don't, I don't think that everybody has the opportunity or chance to do something they like, get paid for it, um, be able to create artwork. Uh, show others how to do it and allow them to grow as well so but most people don't realize like oh I could print that out of my computer yeah but it's not a an actual print per se like you know screen printing is a little more than just hitting the button and basically the process of screen printing is you have an idea right and you want to convey that message so you draw it or you cut a, a stencil or a film like tracing paper will do. What happens is you would take any one of these screens, clean it out, then you would take the screen, you gotta coat it, and it'll have like this uh, green or pink. There's different colors of emulsion, but it's basically uh, light sensitive. So once it's dried in the um, dark room, we would go in there and put a piece of film to a screen and then once you put the film on there, we would expose it. Uh, this machine is actually an exposure unit. And so what it does is it emits light. And what the light does is penetrate this film we have here. So you don't really see anything, but the magic is there. If you see a print, sometimes you don't really even gotta read what it may say. You could be walking by, uh, see something out of the corner of your eye. It could be a sticker or a logo or a shirt somebody's wearing. And then be like, huh, what is that? And then just turn around and that's it. You're already enveloped into that design or it could even be a font. I think I've, I've grown into this art field, I would say, into this screen printing. Um, and I hope to keep going. I mean, that's, I feel like I'm just getting started, if that makes any sense. And this is a little more on the, the lettering, like color concept, daily people walking around. Like there's the Americana area. So trying to capture weight, you know, body types, figures, shadows. Graffiti is just like one aspect. Like now having all the things I've needed on my wish list crossed off, um, I would really like to just stop working and just print all day and create things and see where that goes. Uh, there have been a few people that have told me they really enjoy my images or the message. So um, that's always a bonus. I mean, you know, I've had someone tell me like, hey man, I remember this shirt when I bought it, and I'm like, wow, it's been a long time. So it, it's kind of nice that someone would remember, you know, like a t-shirt that you printed that you were like, and then later on they come back like, hey, I remember I bought this shirt from you. I'm like, that's just where we're at sometimes. Like, you just got to find that one thing you like to do. And it could be music, film, printing, graffiti. You, you find something you like, you do it long enough. You figure out that you really enjoy it. And then you find out you have way too much print equipment. What do you do? Oh, shit. You gotta open a print shop. <laughs> that's, what, that's what people do is they, they enjoy it so much. They're like, I'm gonna just open a shop. I'm gonna give it a run. Next thing you know, they're like doing really good at it. I mean, that's, that's maybe what I should aspire to.